Hello everybody, it's Sanir, Engineer, MBA and Investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about Antilia basically grabbing a designation from the US FDA. This is following from earlier this year when NTLA 2001 got that designation in Europe. Now, before we do that, before we dive deep in today's video, you guys know the algorithms, you guys know what I will ask you. Like this video, smash that like button, destroy that like button, it really does help the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Again, the support of this community is amazing. So thank you so much for the support, guys, and let's keep the momentum going. So there's this press release that was actually announced a few days ago. NTLA basically received US FDA orphan drug designation for NTLA 2001 and an investigational CRISPR therapy for treatment of ATTR, right? So basically a serious disease reduces lifespan, kills people, and basically NTLA earlier this year, back in the first half of this year, well, June, uh, end of June of this year, so I guess starting second half of this year, basically the company was able to publish their first phase one data for in vivo, which no other company has done so far. CRISPR Therapeutics has a reminder, they're the furthest, but that's the ex vivo approach. Just as a reminder, ex vivo entails basically includes taking the cell out of the patient, modifying it, and then re it back in the patient. And in vivo is basically doing it all inside the patient right away. Basically, there are applications that for both in vivo and ex vivo require and is more efficient depending on which application it is. So it's unfair to say in vivo is better than ex vivo and vice versa, right? Especially when you talk about safety and efficiency, right? So don't, don't forget that aspect, right? It's not just your regular technology. Like I know a lot of people come from the Tesla space, they come from electrical vehicles and they think like one specific battery technology will win over all others. It doesn't work like that in genomics, doesn't, definitely does not work like that in healthcare due to safety protocols as it should be, right? You, you, need, to, uh, you need to test rigorously, you, need, you have so many applications, so many different things. Moving atoms to atoms is so, so much harder than moving bits to bits, right? Just FYI. So basically in this news, basically NTLA basically grabbed a huge victory, right? What they were able to do is that the US FDA, which basically in my channel, you guys know how vocal I am about how the FDA needs to revamp the way they disclose information, the way they approve certain drugs, especially in the CRISPR space. Right now, there's no commercial drug, no commercial available CRISPR drug, and that's because the FDA has not approved anything so far. We believe CTX-01 from CRISPR Therapeutics will be the first CRISPR drug to be approved, but again, it's TBD, right, to be discussed. As granted, orphan de drug designation for NTLA for treatment of ATTR. This event investigational therapy is the first CRISPR therapy to be administered systematically to edit a disease causing gene inside the human body, basically the in vivo approach. And TLA 2001 has the potential to be the first single dose treatment for ATTR as it may be able to alt and reverse the devastating complications of this disease, right? So. The CEO, John Leonard, big fan in this channel. Obviously, you guys know my thoughts on the CEO and leadership of Antilia Therapeutics. Basically, they're saying that this is a great, great, um, great victory for the company due to FDA's recognition. Again, not commercially available, not FDA approved. It just means that the FDA has basically give drug designation, right? And we want to go a step further, right? What is actually... What does actually this means, right? In the uh, genomics, in the science world, in the healthcare world, what does orphan drug designation mean, right? And basically the purpose of designation was to create financial incentives for companies to develop new drugs and biologic for rare diseases. These incentives include partial tax credit, clinical trial expenditure, waived user fees, eligibility for seven years marketing exclusivity and more, right? And basically what it is, is the government comes in, you know, authorities come in and they're like, look, we have many patients that are affected by this disease, by this cancer, by whatever the issue is. And we believe your company may be able to address it because of your data, because of what you guys have done in the past. So what we will do is we will provide you guys 
exclusivity to those patients. Basically having this handshake deal, obviously all in a contract, all in paper, and basically allow NTLA to basically treat those patients in US now. Previously it was the EU, but now in US to treat basically ATTR for certain patients. Basically, in other words, if in, in layman terms, basically NTLA has monopoly, right? They have the monopoly on those patients, but this is a good monopoly, right? You want these companies to get designation because you want less waiver fees, less costs. You want to accelerate the process. You want them to actually have a better econo economic view of the issue, right? It sounds bad when you say it, but when you think about it, these companies are operating under the public markets, which means there are shareholders, public shareholders that are looking at numbers, that are always looking at what is the TAM, what is the potential for this specific uh, program, and basically grant, being granted orphan de drug designation is what many of these CRISPR companies are looking for. CRISPR Therapeutics already got some of this in the past. Now you have NTLA that had it earlier this year with the EU with the same program NTLA 2009, but now officially we have it with the US with through the FDA that basically gave this FDA organ drug designation. So quite impressive, right? Quite impressive. Really happy. Curious to see what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a big news? Do you guys think this is basically none news? Do you guys think that we should be seeing a lot more of these throughout the nations around the world, around the regions around the world? Or do you guys just think people are just making, missing out on this information, right? Legacy media is not covering it. Many, many people are not covering this type of news. And, you know, it's it's things like that you have to be, you have to watch out for, right? This is the difference between a successful company and a company that just basically is trading through hype, right? This is not hype. This is fact. This is basically the FDA giving recognition to a CRISPR company without an FDA approved drug, right? Was it, what is it, you know, what is it to say that in two, three, four, five years, the FDA may actually FDA approved one of these programs from NTLA, specifically to NTLA 2001? Just speculation, not financial advice. You guys know the drill. If you like the video, do like the video. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And sorry for today's, uh, I'm using my mic here. I uh, just wanted to change things a little bit up. I think I'll probably be using this headset for the next few videos. It's just easier for me and just, you know, looks a little bit more professional, don't you think? I don't know, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.